A problem on the high seas is being solved from space. It's only in recent years that clusters of satellites have been sent into orbit, with the specific task of capturing tens of millions of images of the planet each day. And that's bad news for carriers of Iranian crude oil trying to evade US oil sanctions. Six years ago, during the previous round of sanctions, the high seas were an ideal place for carriers of Iranian crude to avoid detection. But this time, it's likely to be different. The seas are becoming a harder place to hide. Data specialists are tracking vessels by combining real-time imaging of the Earth with shipping data to create high-powered mathematical models known as big data or machine learning analytics. The human eye couldn't possibly keep track of all the global shipping activity, but the algorithms behind the models can. Tech startups like Winward, Tanker Trackers and Kairos use this technology to build up a pattern of journeys and activities around ports. The more information they collect, the better the algorithms can predict how vessels ought to behave. But when a ship does something the model wouldn't expect, for example, something illicit, it throws up an alert, which means the sanction-busting techniques of just five years ago may no longer work. In the past, if a ship wanted to avoid detection, it could switch off its Automatic Identification System, or AIS. It could also forge the signal to give a false location to avoid being caught entering a prescribed port. This would often work. The only chance of being detected was if you were observed to be somewhere you shouldn't. But with the new techniques, a vessel's behaviour is constantly monitored against the expected behaviour predicted by the big data models. If a ship turns off or forges its AIS and the model deems it as unexpected, an alert is triggered and the near real-time satellite imagery can be used to keep track of the vessel. There are other telltale signs which can be gleaned from the imagery. Shadows are used to detect how much cargo a vessel is carrying and trace when and if that cargo has been unloaded. The length of a ship's shadow varies depending on how much cargo it is carrying. Such clues help identify when cargo has been offloaded, either at port or in the open seas, in a ship-to-ship -ship transfer. Similar techniques are also used to observe oil storage containers to see if inventories are being depleted, a potential sign that oil is being exported and sanctions evaded. Satellite imaging has been with us for decades, but it is the recent increase in coverage and frequency that has made these techniques possible. Images are now updated daily, where in the past it took months. But those attempting to smuggle sanctioned crude are not going away. They are trying to identify dark spots, areas where there are gaps in the satellite coverage. They switch off vessel transmitters and then monitor shipping sites to see if they were detected. While these new big data techniques will undoubtedly affect the ability for ships to circumvent US sanctions, the game of hide and seek is far from over.